Guys, welcome back to another Arsenio ZSL podcast or another IELTS video, man. For everyone watching me for the first time, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. There's a little bit of a different setup, right? I got myself a whiteboard behind me. I'm wearing a purple tie. It's because I'm actually teaching. I'm uh, on break right now. It's Saturday. My Saturdays and Sundays are crazy. So one of my students had canceled, and here I am. So for those of you listening to me on my ESL podcast, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. For those of you watching me on my Facebook page, man, thank you so much for watching. That's number one. Number two, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I got folks all around the world from Palestine, Nepal, Brazil, Chile, so many different places who are uh, asking me different questions and whatnot. So again, if you guys are interested in like coaching or even the free consultation or any guidance whatsoever, I'm here for you. You make sure you reach out to me, all right? And so today we're going to be rocking the house. The reason why I'm so excited about this one, and I do have this whiteboard behind me. Unfortunately, I have to screen share so you guys can see everything, right? So, because I would love to like write down some things behind me, but we'll probably do that for some other, I don't know, pronunciation video, whatever it may be. <sighs> so in saying that people, what we're gonna be doing today is Matthew's Island Holiday. So for those of you who are interested, yes, this is on my blog and I'm going to show you, on my blog, you're gonna see some of the notes that I had written down. It's all about compartmentalizing, meaning separating information within your mind. I normally do this with my coaching, my students, TOEFL, IELTS, TOEIC, you name it, right? And it's for me to get a better understanding of the test in general. It's kind of like TOEFL ITP. I take those tests. I've taken the new tests. The grammar sections are pretty difficult, but again, I still use my techniques to attain the goal. That's what you guys should be doing. I want you guys, I want to let you guys in on how I think, right? And so what we have here for all the note taking, go to my blog, thearseniobuckshow.com. That's number one. Number two, IELTS Practice Online, a best damn site in the world, people. No, I do not have my, my speaker with me today. So the audio is a little bit different. You might hear a little background noise, so I apologize, but you're all good. My MacBook microphone, it'll suffice, not for presentations. So yeah, for that one, that's gonna be coming up real soon. But anyways, it's not the topic of discussion today. We have questions 11 through 12. This is a follow-up in terms of what I've already done. So because I've seen the blog, because I've seen the amount of plays on my ESL podcast, I realized that the Bankside Recruitment Agency was a big hit. And I said, okay, Arsenio, let's keep that momentum going. That was a fill in the blank. That was a part one. Normally people do very well on that. But people, especially ties, have an extreme amount of difficulty in regards to multiple choice. So this is what I have for you today. We got Matthew Island Holidays. Questions 11 through 14 is multiple choice. Okay, and then we have a nice little one word and or number for questions 15 through 20, which is a fill in the a blank. It's day one, day two, day three, day four. You have activities, you have notes. It's about following. I'm going to break this bad boy down and no problem. You guys should have no problem doing this. So in saying that, I don't think you guys will be able to see my video and the things that I write down behind me. So it's all good. But nonetheless, I'll write some things up. I might have to write them very big. You might not be able to see it. But nonetheless, if you guys are listening to me on the ESL podcast, go to IELTSPracticeOnline.com. Okay, this is IELTS Book 15 PDF Audio 2020. All right, that's right. This is the 20, what, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the 2020, the IELTS 15. They have all the practices online. So that's your number one. Number two, let's get rock and rolling. So what we have here, Questions 11 through 14. Multiple choice, A through C. The first one reads, according to the speaker, the company, now A it says, has been in business for longer than. So there's lots of comparisons. You have to listen for the comparison, okay? B, arranges holidays to more destinations than its competitors. C, has more customers than competitors. So more customers than competitors, uh more destinations than competitors or been in business longer than most competitors 
That's what we're listening for, okay? Number 12, it says, how can you meet tour manager before, keyword before traveling to the Isle of Man? Where? A, Liverpool. B, oh my God, you know, <laughs> this British stuff, man, it just kills me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they say Hisham. Um, hey, Sham, he, Sham, he, Sham, she, Sham. I don't know what it's a sham, okay? But that's difficult because if you don't pick up that word, it's going to go crap. So be very quick be very careful with that okay and c luton now american english luton british english it could be luton or it could be lutton so again for my ties and my southeast asians i know you guys have greater difficulty with picking up these words because what you do you listen for how you might have it in your head the pronunciation so if you hear it differently, it'll go right by you. That's what happens for my Thai students out here in Thailand. So be careful with that, all right? Number 13, how many lunches? How many lunches included in the price? Keyword lunches, three, four, or five. Number 14, customers have to pay extra for guaranteeing themselves larger room. B, booking short notice. C, transferring to another date. And in saying that, this might blast your ears, <clears throat> lower the volume, and we're gonna get on with it. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Good morning. My name's Erica Matthews, and I'm the owner of Matthews Island Holidays, a company set up by my parents. Thank you for coming to this presentation, in which I hope to interest you in what we have to offer. We're a small, family-run company, and we believe in the importance of the personal touch. So we don't aim to compete with other companies on the number of customers. What we do is build on our many years' experience, more than almost any other rail holiday company, to ensure we provide perfect holidays in a small number of destinations, which we've got... There it is. That's your number 11. Number one, of course, for this podcast. You guys might, be, might not be able to see that writing behind me, unfortunately, so I guess I'm just going to have to switch to just, uh, to just stopping it and going it uh stopping and going <laughs> i said stopping and going it nonetheless she said build on the many years experience more than any other company many years experience more than any other company if you hear that again looking at a b and c a has been in business for longer than most competitors that is the answer but let's listen to the bad answers and to why they are not the answers, right? So again, holidays to more destinations, more customers than competitors. To know extremely well. I'll start with our six day Isle of Man holiday. Okay. This is a fascinating island in the most any other. That's literally the end. So that's all you get. A is the answer because B and C aren't even mentioned. You have to listen for that comparison. Again, build on the many years experience has been in business for longer than. That's the paraphrase, okay? More than anyone else, okay? That means most of its competitors. A lot of this is paraphrased. This is why it's important to understand the possible paraphrasing, okay? So now we're going into the second one. The Isle of Man, keyword, the tour manager. How can you meet him before traveling? We have to listen for these key words. The rail holiday company to ensure we provide perfect holidays in a small number of destinations, which we've got to know extremely well. I'll start with our six day Isle of Man holiday. This is a fascinating island in the Irish Sea with Wales to the south, England to the east, Scotland to the north, and Northern Ireland to the west. Our holiday starts in Hesham, where your tour manager will meet you. Then you'll travel by ferry to the Isle of Man. There it is. It will start in Hesham. That's the pronunciation for B. H-E-Y-S-H-A-M. 
will, where the tour manager will meet you before traveling to the Isle of Man. B is your answer. Now let's listen for both Liverpool and Luton. Some people prefer to fly from Luton instead, and another popular option is to go by train to Liverpool and take a... Boom. Fly from Luton, train to Liverpool. You see what I mean? We're listening to, to the way, you know, like different modes of transportation. So again, the tour manager, it does not fall in line. It was not mentioned along with Liverpool or Luton. The tour manager was specifically meant for Hisham. Go to Hisham, where you will meet the tour manager before traveling to the Isle of Man. B is your answer. Now, how many lunches, okay? More than likely, you're gonna hear dinner. More than likely, you're gonna hear breakfast, right? But specific, we have to listen specifically for lunches. A ferry from there. You have five nights in the hotel, and the price covers five breakfasts and dinners and lunch on the three days when there are organized trips. Boom. Okay. Do you got, did you guys pick that up? Now, lunch was different from your breakfast and your dinners. Breakfast and dinner was five nights. Lunch was on the three days. I'm going to go back so you can listen just one more time from Luton instead, and another popular option is to go by train to Liverpool and take a ferry from there. You have five nights in the hotel, and the price five covers nights. five breakfasts five and dinners, breakfast, dinners, and lunch on the three days when there are organized trips. Lunch on Day days. four is free, and most people have lunch in a cafe or restaurant in Douglas. Okay, next one. The price of the holiday includes the ferry to the Isle of Man, all travel on the island, the hotel, and the meals I've mentioned. Pay extra Incidentally, we try to make booking our holidays as simple and fair as possible. Fair. So, unlike with many companies, the price is the same whether you book six months in advance okay. or at the last minute. And That's there's no supplement for single rooms in hotels. No if you make a booking, then yes. need to change the start date, for example, because of illness, you're welcome to change to an alternative date or a different tour for a small administrative fee. There it is. Change to a different date, different date for a small administrative fee. All right. So she went over all the details. She mentioned single room. She mentioned, sorry, she mentioned single room. Again, A, no. B, booking in short notice, no. But the if conditional is kind of like a but, it's kind of like a however. So if you would like to change the date to another, you know, an alternative date, you can do that for a small administrative fee. C, transferring to another date is your answer. Transfer and change. Those are synonymous. So in saying that, that is the basics for the questions 11 through 14. So now we have questions 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. What I'm gonna do here, and for those of you who are looking at this, my ESL podcasters, you might have my blog up, you might have you know, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, you're listening to it while you're watching my video or you're looking at my blog, fantastic. What you're gonna do is you're going to answer 18, 19, and 20, okay? Now, for my ESL podcasters, you guys should be looking at the blog while you're listening to this, or you could just listen along and take notes, and then go to my blog and answer, you know, answer the questions, if you wanna take, you know, make this even more difficult, right? But for those of you listening, I'll give you guys some guidelines for this. This is a timetable for the Isle of Man holiday. Activity and notes, activity arrive. Notes, introduction by manager, hotel dining room has view of the, number 15, view of the, okay. Now, it says one word and or a number. So we need a noun of the, because article, article, noun. Unless you're looking for a compound noun, but a compound noun is two words, two words you cannot use. In day two, is your number 16, but it's not in the activity, it's in the notes. Notes, Tinwald, proper noun, may have been founded in 
found it and we're listening for a year. But after that, it says not 979. So more than likely you would hear the year 979, but you need to listen for another number, okay? Day three is your number 17. Activity, trip to Snayfield, I, I, Snayfall, Snowfall, I don't know, <laughs> British English. And then notes, travel along promenade. Okay, oh, sorry, I have my British actually. Travel along promenade in a tram, train to Laxey, train to the, you have to follow the conversation, okay? Unfortunately, I'm not able to like make little, you know, little things on the, on the document, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> but for the most part, you're going to see my cursor. For those of you watching me on Facebook, you're going to see my, cur my cursor, okay, right here. It's going to move along with the conversation. This is what I want you to do with the point of your pen or pencil. More than likely, it's a pencil, okay, because you can't write on it. You have to write on the, the answer sheet, bubble in the answer sheet, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to play this 18, 19, and 20. Okay, for you ESL podcasters, let's do it. Number 18, day four, free day is the activity. Company provides a, mm, a, after a, which is an article, is a noun. Listen for that, one word. Day five, number 19 is, the, is in the activity for the first time. Take the mm, railway. Ah, railway. It's connected because the is an article. We need a noun or an adjective, railway. More than likely, this is a compound noun. Listen closely. And number 20, which are the notes, free time, then coach to Castletown, former mm. Then coach to Castletown. Coach is a bus. Former something. We have to listen for that word. This could be a little difficult for some of you. And then after that, it's finished. So I'm going to stop for 15, 16, 17. But 18, 19, and 20 is for you. With that being said, let's continue. 15, 16, 17. If it wants to continue. Okay. On day one, you'll arrive in time for a short introduction by your tour manager, followed by dinner in the hotel. Okay. The dining manager. room looks out at the river, close to where it flows into the harbor. The dining room looks out over the river. Ah, looks out is the view, right? Looks out, that's a view. Phrasal verb, and of course, academic verb. Looks out over the river. She said the article, the the river, and then she goes along and says another compound noun. I just completely forgot what it was, but it involved water. So be able to follow that. She mentioned the dining room, okay? Dining room looks out over the river. All right, now let's go into 16. These are quick, they're quick. And there's usually plenty of activity going on. On day two, you'll take the coach to the small town of Peel, on the way, calling in at the Tinwald Exhibition. Tinwald. The Isle of Man isn't part of the United Kingdom, and it has its own parliament called Tinwald. It's claimed that this is the world's oldest parliament that's still functioning, and that it dates back to 979. First number. However, the earliest surviving reference to it is from 1422. 1422 is your answer! Okay, this is what I try telling you guys. You need to be very careful. That 979 was already there. You need to write down the 1422. Let's keep it going. So, perhaps it isn't quite as old as it claims. <laughs> Day three, we have a trip to the mountain Snaefell. This begins with a leisurely ride along the promenade in Douglas promenade. in a horse-drawn tram. Tram. Then you board an electric train, train, which takes you to the fishing village of Laxey. Laxey. From there, it's an eight-kilometer ride in the Snaefell Mountain Railway to the top. To Lunch the will be top. in the top. Eight-kilometer ride. And the train, what was she say? Train fell, snake fell, whatever, to the top. So the key word, number 17, is top. This is how I follow it. 
She mentioned promenade. She didn't mention the tram. Then she said the train, and then Laxi, and then boom, train. And then right around there, to the top. This is how you follow, guys. So 18, 19, and 20 is all you. I'm not going to stop it once until after I'm finished, and then you're going to write your answers in the comment section. Cafe giving you spectacular views of the island. Day four is free for you to explore using the pass which we'll give you. So you won't have to pay for travel on local transport or for entrance to the island's heritage sites. Or you might just want to take it easy in Douglas and perhaps do a little light shopping. The last full day, day five, is for some people the highlight of the holiday with a ride on the steam railway from Douglas to Port Erin. After some time to explore, a coach will take you to the headland that overlooks the Calf of Man, a small island just off the coast. From there, you continue to Castletown, which used to be the capital of the Isle of Man and its medieval castle. And on day six, it's back to the ferry or the airport. And there it is. Guys, number 20 is a little bit difficult because she said which used to be which used to be, used to be, is another phrase. That's a phrase for the one word you see in this document, which is former. Now, I'll be waiting for your answers in all three, 18, 19, and 20. And in saying that, guys, man, thank you so much for tuning in to the podcast. You guys see the writing right here, so... Again, I must apologize. I'm trying to show you. I'll do, I'll do something else coming up soon. But guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for viewing this IELTS Listen. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Make sure you interact with me. Follow me on Instagram, The Arsenio Buck Show. It's more personal development and English language training. You get the best of both worlds because you get the English training and you also learn about development through English. <sighs> If you guys are interested in any services I might have, or reach out to me. If you want to reach out to me, just say hello. Tag me in Instagram stories. Say thank you so much. I met this wonderful guy. All that good stuff, and I'll just be waiting. So in saying that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another wonderful ESL podcast or an IELTS video slash podcast slash everything in one. Make sure you tune into my blog, thearsiniobuckshow.com, and I'll be waiting for all your questions and answers. I'm your host. As always, over and out.